Good people, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Let's continue to explore melodic scale variation with a new pattern called the 1-3 pattern, or skip a step. And why do we do this? Because it's fun, but also because it's gonna help improve your technique, your ability to learn tunes, and it prepares you for improvising. Okay, so let's just get started, all right? We're gonna do this on the D major scale. All right, and we're gonna take it one repetition at a time, starting with the first repetition, which is open D to D2. Followed by the next repetition, D1 to three. So the first two are. Okay. What's going to be the next repetition of the pattern? It's D2 to open A. And what's the next repetition after that? It's D3 to A1. So here's the first four steps of this pattern on the D major scale. Okay. I recommend you pause the video and practice that a little bit right now. Okay, thanks for doing that. And now, why don't you play it with this play along track for just a little bit. One, two, three, fun. Cool. So if you enjoyed that and found it to be useful in helping make your practice productive, there's longer versions of that particular one and lots of other exercise loops, I call them, on fiddlehead.com. So please follow the link in the description for that. Okay. So um, if you have that much of the pattern, the rest of the scale you can do, I think. So because uh, the next four steps, start on open A, and it's the same exact fingering. So if, by practicing it that way twice, you know, you, you probably have it by now, and you can just easily do it on A. Right? So the entire ascending version of the scale So now we'll do the descending version, usually trickier, um, but basically that last note we ended on, E1, was going to be the starting note. And we're just, the first step going down is going to be E1 to A3, and then open E to A2, and A3 to A1, and then A2 to open A. And putting them together. And then the next four steps will be this, that same exact fingering starting A1. So the entire descending version of this scale. The ascending version started. So you can see that if you now I'll play the D major scale, and then the first step of this pattern, open D, open to two, we skipped the uh, D1. I probably should have mentioned this earlier in the lesson. We skipped that D1, um, and that's the skip a step part of the, how, what we, how we call this pattern. It's also 1-3 because if you think about, there's, think about the scale. We're basically skipping that two every time. We're skipping one step of the scale as we move up. I didn't explain that very well, but I think it makes sense if you do it and you'll understand it after that. Just play it. It'll make sense eventually. 
And so once you get this down, you can have a lot more fun with it by adding other kinds of variations. So you could add a swing pattern. You could add slurs, like slur two. That's what I did in the opening part where I played it fast. Rhythms. And you can eventually take this pattern and make little variations to it to create new scale variations. So this 1-3 pattern I think of as another root pattern that we can make branch patterns from. The next lesson in this series, which will be Melodic Scale Variation 4, will go into how you can add little variations to this variation, okay? So I think this stuff's a lot of fun. I hope you guys are having fun playing scales. That's my goal, because I I do, and I want you to as well, okay? So I think I covered everything. My notes are all scribbled, so it's a little confusing, but I hope this has been useful, and we'll see you next time on Fiddlehead. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.